John Deere STX 38 I just picked up from a co-worker I'm taking the carburetor apart I realize I wasn't filming yet um, so the first thing you do there's two screws right there this air vent supposed to sit on there um, two screws right there you unscrew them you take the air vent off um, then you gotta unhook your throttle cables you have one here here um, the hook here and there um, I like to take this one off I'm going to have to take this one off um, and clean the carb. You can tell it's pretty gunked up. Just doing this. A whole lot of oil looks like is out of here. Um, I'm going to get it cleaned up. See if I can get her running. Um, oh, there, there's also an air hose right here that hooked up to the side. Right there that I had to undo. Um, let me go ahead and take this off. I need two hands and then I'll get to the next step. Um, I took the two wires off here and here. Um, as you can tell it's black earlier. I just cleaned it up with some carburetor cleaner. Um, I'm going to take and take the bowl off. Or the bowl's in here, the float I guess. Um, I'm going to take that off and we'll see what it looks like in there. Um, it was pretty stinking dirty. And so let me see what it looks like on the inside. Alright, so here we go. This one took a 13 millimeter wrench. Close enough, I can do it by hand. Oh, good idea. Pulled it off. Got a lot of dirt in there. Yeah. Here's my float. Looks like the gasket. It got bent. You see that? So I'll be needing to get a new one of those. I'll probably try and put it on and see if it runs. I don't know if this thing even runs or not. I just barely got it. Um, if it runs, I'll buy a new gasket, might even buy a new carb. I just wanted to see if I could even get it to run beforehand. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take, push this pin right here out to get your float off. And let me do that real quick. Alright, I'm going to take this screw right here out. Um, Right now it's set it one screw out, so I'm going to take it all the way out and see what it looks like. I know that you can't see, but I can. There's a lot of dirt down in there. You can see around it where all the dirt's at. I'm going to spray some carb cleaner down in there. See if we can get this thing running here in the next little bit. Next I'm going to take this screw out. It was two turns out. So I gotta remember that now as well. Carb cleaner. I clean my float and its needle. I clean the carb inside and out. I put carb cleaner in there, both sides, and then down both ports. Um, I clean the mixture screw. And these are the two gaskets that came off. I'm gonna clean them both up. They're pretty dirty. Um, cleaned out the bowl. And then I'm going to reassemble it all back together and see how it turns out. Like I said, this has got a broken gasket here. Um, so it might leak a little bit of gas when I first start it up. We'll see what happens. I put it all back together, hooked up all the hoses. Uh, we'll see what happens. I got a battery's dead, so I'm going to jump it off my four-wheeler and we'll give it a whirl.